Hi guys, welcome to our channel and we are here to show you how to fix the the leak of this very old hose reel that I have. I found this lying on the street. I mean someone left it uh, to be thrown. So I just pick it up and when I use it there's a leak. So we we'll try to fix it and see what we can do. So first thing to do is check where the leak is coming from. Of course, turn on the hose and you can see there's a leak coming out already from here. So you can see any leak from here or the actual one. So it means from the inside. So we have to open this one and check this elbow pipe. And to open this brand of hose reel, the brand is aims real easy. And we have three screws here. All I need this one, small one, and some clips here clips to remove and inside I think there's four screws so first of course remove your your hose All right then use this flat tip screw driver like this right. and if you can see properly okay let's push it like Okay. Just be careful because this is really old and make me break and this one also. Okay, so you got the tool and then oops. So I pop out the tool here, do the same on the other side. See there's an arrow here. Pop it out. Okay. And this one. Alright. So I this, do the same on the other one. And then there's uh, four screws to remove on this side, which is holding this um, elbow pipe. So this is the reason why you need a smaller screwdriver so that it will fit here while you're removing those four screws. then you may want to rotate this so that you have access for the remaining screws then you may now pull out this elbow so remember the position of these two plastic um, that is holding this elbow and every time you open anything or dismantle anything you may want to take a picture so that you will not forget the position now we will remove this side so that we can attach this elbow to the water line and check where the leak is coming from so you can see here this part have three screws to remove Now you may pull out this side of the water line. Now we can put the elbow and the other side of the water line so that we can check where the leak is coming from. Now let's turn this on and observe the 
the leak and I don't know if you can see but this white crack here uh, this is where the water is coming from and also from this side of connection you can see that there's a leak so let's turn up the water supply and open this and you will see a gasket or a seal you can go to your local hardware or any garden supply and buy this kind of gasket so now I wash this and clean and I will be using this JB Red Epoxy Putty it's, I used this before for in my uh, Jeep Liberty radiator and it works well and it's really really good especially for plumbing set time is 25 minutes and the cure time is 1 hour so it's just like a clay maybe one part of this is a hardener so it means you have to to knead it just like a clay okay and then this back right you can see I'm using a gloves this is very this is very sticky and just knead it until you you see that they are on the same color remember I use this also with my my camper roof when it has a leak and even if it's raining I applied it it's good it worked so, I don't know apply it here This is a one hour curing time. And for me, I will make it 24 hours or maybe 12 hours only. So we're back. The JB Weld uh, already cured. It's very hard, same like this plastic. And I put them together now just to check and I also installed gasket inside and let's test it I will cover it with this quick connect let me see okay let's open and let's see what will happen dry no leak at all even here no leak it's dry alright this is working good no leak and let's see the durability and I will update you guys when after a few uses if this one will be okay okay now I will, I will show you how to put it back all right so as I said I replaced the gasket this is the one and this is the old one and I removed this I could remove this one also but I think this one works I've just found it in my my supply this back and align the three, three holes there's the three hole for the three screws and then all right and now we will go on this part put this one first then put this one inside and this one will hold the the tube or the elbow so first you can put this one on inside
so now that's how it looks inside this plastic is preventing this elbow from coming off so there's four screws here three more if you move this around you will have access on those screw where you put your screws you can see this one it's not having problem with the casing you will now install this too Okay, installing these two, you can see that there's an arrow here, this arrow will correspond to the arrow, arrow here, you can see, arrow here, and this one, so you see it's like this, alright, and same thing on the other side, there's an arrow, Positive align. And then, once you're sure, once you align everything, you can pop it in. Just be careful. All right, here and there. Okay, make sure everything is aligned. All right. So here it's already aligned. This. So just push it in. Alright. So working. Then put everything back. So that's it. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe.